Hello again. This is another Fallout 76 video. This will be my last video actually for a little while because basically I'm doing, a, I guess it could be described as a grad school boot camp. <laughs> so no video games for me for at least a month, probably a little bit more than that. So anyway, hopefully I can get back to it after all that's said and done. What I want to do here for you, and I was about to show this when we got attacked. Of course, had to get attacked while I'm filming. Anyway, I went through and I did season eight. And I s said to myself, I should do a video about whether it was worth it. Because it took a while, you know. <laughs> it was playing more than I probably normally would have played. But when I saw the final, the, you know, the final uh, reward for the scoreboard, which was this new build kit, I said, oh, okay. So that kind of motivated me. So I did it. I I, I bared down and made it happen. So, was it worth it? Was it worth all that time? <laughs> well, let's see. So what I figure I'm going to do here is actually go through the scoreboard and just comment on the things I like, things I think are worth it, things I think I'm going to use or never use, and sort of make a judgment based on that. Now, this I was recording this video before I actually finished because I wasn't sure when it was going to be done and I didn't want to lose the scoreboard. So uh, I have since finished it and at the end of the video, I will show you the, uh, the the build kit. So here we go. As we run through what's in here, medium vault tech supply crate, pretty much all the supply crates, health bundles, all that stuff are all good. I have not used that exercise bike thing at all. I do use the free states mod armor stuff, which is fine, but you don't really see it because I use outfits a lot. That bed is pretty cool. I did use that bed. And legendary mods and stuff. Pretty much, I don't know. I, I like the guns I have. I like the way they're <laughs> outfitted, so I don't really use those very much either. Atoms and caps are the biggest thing. I didn't add up how many there are total in terms of uh, atoms especially. But that to me was one of the biggest reasons to do this because I don't really like to spend a lot of money on buying extra atoms and stuff like that. So, oh, perk cards. I have a bazillion of those that I haven't used and probably never will use. Fireworks, I don't know what they're for. If someone wants to tell me in the comments, that would be great. Lunch boxes are awesome. I always use those, especially in groups. Uh, more free states paint, that's fine. Legendary module, don't really use it. Atoms, yes. Caps, yes. I don't use power armor. So any power armor stuff is really wasted on me. Basic repair kits, absolutely. Creepy baby, have never ever used that. Don't know if I ever will. It seems, well, creepy. Uh, any of the um, like Sam Wynn here. So if, uh, you know any of the companions. That's definitely cool. Um, I know you can get some of these things in the uh, atomic shop as well. Nuclear key cards. I've got so many of those, and I don't know. If I'll use them all someday. <laughs> More free states paint, which is, again, it's cool. I use it, but you don't really see it. Legendary script, just like modules, hardly ever use it. And let's see. At this moment, I, uh, I think I walked away from the computer. I believe I had to let the cat in because our cat scratches at the back door to come in. So I think I got up and did that, which is why it's like paused here awkwardly. So you just have to listen to me tell you about the cat for a few seconds. And now we're back to it. So atoms, of course, yes, use. Gold, gold bullion, I've used a little bit, but honestly, not that much. I don't really love the stuff that uh, seems to be sold in, <laughs> in those venues. More power armor paint, don't use it. Repair kits or scrap kits, I have not used scrap kits either. Have not used any of those backdrops. Perk cards, I have so many I haven't used. Any building item is cool. I haven't used that mailbox yet at all. Liquid Courage, I've never used it. Free States Paint, yes, I have used. What do we got here? More legendary modules. Mm, you know, again, I have so many of them. Yes, of course, Atoms. And the next one, of course, Caps. I've used those. I don't use the Power Armor Paint. And here goes Repair Kits, of course. Yes, Expert Hacker, I think I already have that. More perk cards. So, so far it's not looking good. Although I did like this black uh, modular mainframe. That is pretty cool. I have used that. And more legendary. I guess I just have to use more of these legendaries just, just to create wep uh, weapons and armor and stuff. 
Yes to the atoms. This pharmaceutical thing, pharmaceutical thing is alright, but haven't really used it. I probably will use it because it does look pretty cool. So, we'll see. Carry weight booster. I definitely use those because I'm constantly grabbing stuff I don't need. Uh, I kind of went a little fast there. Some, I don't know what, what I was doing when I was filming this. Anyway, more paint stuff is fine. Adams, yes, of course. Gold bullion, as we said. So far, it's not looking good in terms of me say, saying it was worth it. I don't use all this flare stuff so much. It just kind of seems a little bit silly to me. Scrap kits, covered that. I haven't used them. This bottom row, pretty much the chandelier and the carry weight booster is about all I would use. Whatever legendary script. Yes to Adams. Gold is fine. Oh, these couches are actually really cool. And I love that you're, they're modular and you can build stuff in different configurations. I've also seen people do some creative merges with that. So that's kind of neat. I'm going to have to experiment with that at some point. And let's see, more stuff that I pretty much don't use. Lunchboxes, yes. Silver Collectron, maybe. More atoms, more caps. Yellow Curtains, definitely. I will definitely use those because they seem pretty good. More nuclear key cards. And this whole bottom row, pretty much not interesting to me. Lunchboxes, hell yes. Love me some lunch boxes. Doorbell, I think, is great, actually. I've used it a couple of times, and it just adds a little something. More legendary script, because clearly I need to use, start using these things. I love atoms, as I said. I did save up for some big stuff. I finally got a sink, and I finally, finally got a refrigerator, <laughs> which is fantastic. I do love this uh, Vault Survivor backpack. It looks really awesome. It's much nicer than the just plain old backpack, so that's really cool. So I have been using that all the time. And actually, the thing's coming up here, too. What is that? The Steins? Yeah, they're fine. They're good for certain types of builds. What else we got? Is we're in a home stretch. Perk coins. I think eventually I'll use those. I'm not exactly sure what they're for. I'm such a horrible player at this game, but, you know, I still have fun. I do love the Vault Survivor hood. You must have, or you will see it if you didn't see it earlier. And Mailbox. I don't know. I don't see myself using it. The Vault Survivor outfit is pretty cool. It's not as good as the Insurgent one, which I think is better. And I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about this here build set, which was the main motivation, because when I first saw it on here, I thought it looks awesome. So was it worth it in terms of that? I'm going to switch gears and give you some thoughts about that new build set. After I burn this person. I didn't get burnt. Oh well. Alright, so I think this is actually a lesson in managing expectations. Because when I saw that build set on the scoreboard, it looked really awesome to me. When I got it in real life, it, it or in real life, in, you know, Fallout life, I realized it has these weird quirks about it. And there's these kind of like blast shields, I guess. They're supposed to be. They don't operate, which is disappointing. The windows are not see-through, which is weird, but also cool in some ways. I could see that being kind of like they're just sort of hazed over or they're meant to be like bunkers. Honestly, the first thing I thought of when I saw this was like, I want to build a Potemkin village out of this for some reason. <laughs> um, when you burn these walls, they do look kind of cool. And so I, you know, I've been using that more and more in builds where you have sort of just like destroyed walls. You can combine those with these, uh, you know, junk walls, which is kind of cool. But the real thing, I think that the best aspects of this new set are two things. One, the roofs and the variety of roofs that you have in the set, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. But also the insides of these walls. And so using the trick where you can actually flip it around and the inside is out, I think is really the best way to use it, as you can see. Those inside walls here look look really, really nice. The brick set really looks good, and I think the brick actually looks better than the, the other brick set, which is says something because I think that brick set looks really good as well. Um, it actually reminds me of a couple of places in the more the urban areas of the game, so I'm a, that appeals to me. I like doing urban-style builds. Here I want to demonstrate something that the, the actual 
uh, some of these roof pieces look really good as floors. And I bring this up because of two reasons. One is, as you can see, or I'll show you more from the outside, you can, if you use them in floors or even under floors, which I didn't realize you could do until, this, <laughs> until I made this, um, you can get the sort of exterior part as an effect on the outside, if that makes sense. You'll see it when we get back out there. But as I change these over, what you're seeing inside here also shows up on the outside, if that makes sense. Here's an example of a regular floor that's on top of the, you know, the, the roof piece. So you can have both of them, which is kind of cool. I also have been kind of obsessed with making, trying to make builds that don't use the real stairs, if that makes sense. And so uh, using some of the tricks where you can, you know, not have to use the, the in-game stairs. You can either create, you can build stairs, or you can do some tricks like with the, with the catwalk to make stairs, to put stairs against the wall. Right, so um, I'll show you a little bit about what that looks like. But if you see this effect that you get here, so even though that's not the roof, you can get that really cool edging. And so you can do that on multiple floors, and that's a really cool asset of this build set. And the, just the sheer variety, the sheer number of uh, choices you have is, is really cool. The doorways, I think, would look really great. And the doorways um, don't, maybe don't look as good inside and out in other words like so right now this is the inside that's pointed out just like the two windows on either side are um, but as I said I think I think the insides look better as an outside they look more realistic so here I just kind of like messed around a little bit with a fake stairway <laughs> as you can see just to give you a sense in context of what this would look like so if you were to uh, use these roof pieces as floors you can see that they look like cement or you know even like marbly kinds of floors that have been sort of worn down or whatever or just stained and and ruined over the years so i think that's a really cool asset of this set if you're uh, if you're thinking about making creative builds where you're actually using um you know roofs as floors now one thing that occurred to me while i was messing around with this is that it would look really cool and kind of stately almost like a, a mansion if you can do like a little bump out here like a little foyer area so this set does kind of lend itself to that sort of look again i think it's it's tempered a bit by this all this metal all over it with these i guess again blast shields this is whole, the whole theme of this one was a better life underground so it's not like underground but i guess it's like fortified house or something I'm not sure. Um, I've still not wrapped my head around it completely. But I do think there are some possibilities for this set. Of course, I didn't realize this, that this set actually became available in the Atomic Shop. So you didn't have to get it just through doing the scoreboard. But, you know, I'm always running out of atoms. So it worked out okay. But as you can see, I think it does have some possibilities for this kind of stately building or even like a government building or a house of a certain vintage shall we say so was it all worth it <sighs> i don't know <laughs> I, I will say the stuff that i am going to use i am going to use a lot the stuff that i'm not going to use well there was a lot of those things so so i think overall time is going to tell whether this is worth it and all the all the time i put into it i will say i'm happy that season nine is uh, I guess going faster. I don't really know what the official thing is because I haven't been playing as much. But basically, it seemed to be I seem to be moving through the levels much much quicker. So hopefully, when I get back to all this stuff, I can power through season nine and see if that one was worth it as well. So thanks for watching.